Hello everybody, how you all doing today? My name is Nicholas. Today is a little instructional video on some of the metal fabrication that I've been working with lately. And uh, I had this hobby for a long time and uh, I thought, always thought it was a really good idea. Never really stuck, in, stuck with it till recently, but I really don't know how to describe this type of metal fabrication technique. If you look at my other videos, you know, I, I do some small scale robots and, and uh, you know, exoskeletons for robots and stuff, kind of like body armor, nothing too big yet, you know, so I don't know how to exactly describe this type of metal fabrication technique. It's somewhere in between 3D printing, basket weaving, and wire art. Uh, you know, later in the future, I imagine I could get really creative with all different types of metal fabrication techniques that can improve the structure and design and so forth. So uh, what the idea here is, is to uh, use fairly cheap material, wire, to create a endoskeleton uh, to provide st in structural support for other reinforcements that can be integrated into the platform. For example, uh, I, like, I am interested in building 3D printed metal buildings right now. Uh, well, I don't know if you'd call it 3D printing, but anyways, it's a type of metal fabrication technique. And so, uh, this is a very strong structure. You know, this is as strong as any other type of uh, metal fabrication uh, when you compare it to size to weight ratio and so forth. So, you know, uh, this is a malleable type of metal uh, that you buy from hardware stores. I think it's a mild steel, zinc plated to kind of give it a corrosion resistant. But it, if I whack it or kick it really hard, it will dent like no other type of metal. But if I was using something like a 1060 high carbon steel of a type, it would be... Uh, more a much harder rigid elastic type of uh structure that would be more like a spring and i imagine if this was made out of like 1060 high carbon steel or something that would be a very strong structure uh that you could possibly throw off a building and it will just bounce back into shape it won't put a dent on it pretty much I, you know if you hit it hard enough this will bend but it just kind of bounces back into shape. So, you know, uh, so, you know, the, so the idea here is it provides a endoskeleton to, for other reinforcements to be integrated into the platform. For example, glass. I think it would be pretty interesting, excuse me, Pretty interesting to melt glass into this and with all different types of colors of the rainbow and so forth and, you know, possibly have some drip, dripping effects on it. I think that would be very beautiful. So, it, it, so the finished product would be a kind of structure that would be a uh, steel reinforced glass of some type that would you know be pretty tough stuff uh you know for example uh uh plastics as well i forgot the name of the type of plastics that they use in like a 3d printers and stuff but pretty much you just melt plastic and uh onto the structure here so you prefabricate the structure and then you add the reinforcements on it that would be pretty cool you know so uh Another concept is uh, fiberglass or fiberglass and uh, carbon fiber. Say if this was 1060 high carbon steel and then weave carbon fiber into the metal structure here, it would be nearly indestructible. That would be a very solid structure. Fiberglass would work as well. So this is like, my, one of my first prototypes I've made here and the direction I'm trying to go with this is making 3D printed metal buildings. I probably should stop saying 3D printing. Uh, maybe a Nicola printed. 
Nicola printed uh, metal buildings. I don't know. Anyways, so uh, so it's similar to the construction of concrete buildings and such. Before they they pour the concrete, they lay a bunch of rebar in the kind of wire frame of rebar. Uh, of the structure and then they put planks around it and then dump in the concrete creating a mold and then the concrete hardens and then you're left with the with a steel reinforced concrete structure similar to that as well you dump concrete and and rocks on this and have a endoskeleton to provide support for uh architecture and stuff so uh, that's one thing I'm interested in doing this to take the first step here is do some architecture using this concept later in the future. I think that, you know, I could use this type of method to make almost anything I want. It's still experimental, but next I think I'm going to use this kind of method and possibly a TIG welder to Nicola print a, uh, guns. So, uh, so this experimental, we'll have to see how that works. I, I'm, a, I'm a big gun enthusiast if you look at my channel. So uh, interested in possibly experimenting with this method to make some guns. So uh, let's see, what else is there? Uh, you know, electric motors. I could get, get really creative with all kinds of uh, electric motor concepts that could be integrated into this platform. And, you know, basically... That's what electric motor is, is coils of wire and magnets. So, you know, I'm thinking that this would make a good monopole motor uh, to, to kind of experiment with. And, you know, just pretty much just uh, magnets and coils of wire and uh, some copper coils. And, uh, you know, uh, I, you can get really creative with all kinds of stuff. Like uh, this would make a excellent Archimedes death ray. Uh, that would be really cool. You could like uh, insert uh, aluminum, sheets of aluminum into this and have a highly reflective surface. And so without the structural support, it, it, it flexes, it bends. So you would be able to have a adjustable parabolic lens of a shape that, would, that you could use for an Archimedes death ray. Satellite dish, antenna, Tesla coil, metal buildings, wheels, spring wheels. I could, so pretty much what I was doing with this was, you know, uh, I, the reason why I chose a circular disc shape is because there's a lot you could do with a circular disc, you know, for those reasons I mentioned, you know, Tesla coils, metal buildings, domes, greenhouse, uh, <sighs> A satellite, antenna, Archimedes death ray, wheels. It, you know, there's a lot of different things that I could do with this sort of concept. So, uh, but, you know, I could, I think that I can fabricate almost anything using this type of method with very simple basic tools and equipment and material is cheap. It's just wire pretty much. And... Uh, it, it, you know, uh, it's a very strong structure and I could add all kinds of other reinforcements into this to, I mean, I could probably jump on it if I was to keep on adding reinforcements into this, jump on it, throw it across the room and just kind of, uh, a rigid, uh, flexible shape that, uh, just, uh, uh, bends back into shape. For example, if this was a solid sheet of steel, but this also flexes as well if without structural support. So, like, if I was to melt glass or something onto it, I would want a, a good a structural support so it won't flex around and bend and whatever. But, you know, the, if this was a, anything similar to a sheet of metal or whatever, if I get a hammer and I whack it hard enough, it will dent it. This does not dent, especially if it was like three, uh, 1060 high carbon steel, it just bounces back into shape. So like say a, a car hood or car parts, for example, uh, made out of uh, ten, uh, high carbon steel alloys that uh, would, you know, probably have other reinforcements uh, integrated into the platform. But, you know, uh, 
the idea would be you, you, you'd be undentable car parts or, or car body and such that, you know, it, it, you, if you hit it really hard, it will bounce back into shape using spring wire. Like, it's pretty hard to damage a spring. So, that's the kind of idea I'm going with here. Uh, you know, so I could build this in, uh, I could build this very fast. It took me some time to go back and recorrect a lot of mistakes and so forth, but I could probably make this in one day without expensive tools, without expensive equipment. The material is cheap and and that's why I'm very excited about this because it is like Legos. If you're creative enough and, you, and if you're a good enough artist, I think you the sky is the limit to what you can do with this type of metal fabrication technique. And uh, so, yeah, um, you know, I could weave all different types of beautiful geometric shapes into this, make it look like a beautiful work of art. And, you know, so, uh, so if you are interested in putting something like this out on your property, tell me what you want. You want electric motors, you want Tesla coils, you want gazebos, uh, biodomes, uh, satellite dish, electric motors, Design my own car, design my own airplane. Uh, you know, I think the sky is the limit. Challenge me, dare me. Okay, what do you, what would you like me to do? So, uh, uh, this is what this is the definition of what value and money is: architecture, electric motors, construction, fabrication. This, you know, this could. I could, this is, this is why I'm so interested in this because it is all of the mediums of art combined into a type of structure. You got the design, you got the uh, fabrication, you got the, the, the engineering, the, the me uh, metal fabrication, beautiful shining metal, you know, uh, you know, I, you get really creative with all kinds of things that you could do with, uh, improvising this type of uh, technique here. So uh, pretty cool stuff. Stay tuned. Hopefully I'll have this out on a lot here soon and I'm going to jump on it, kick on it, uh, you know, you know, test it, torture, test it and whatever. And, you know, it's made out of non-corrosive metal alloys. It should last forever, especially like if I was melt plastic onto it and, and completely insulate it from corrosion resistance and so forth. So that's the direction. Hopefully I'm trying to get this out on somebody's lot here soon and uh, see how that goes. And I plan on doing a lot more interesting stuff with this stuff Uh in the future. So I think that's about it for right now. Thank you. Be sure to contact me and let me know if you have anything in mind. Thanks. Bye-bye.